I can't even move him, y'all. I think I'll break this rod if I pull any harder. I know you feel like you want me, and I guess in a way you do. Holding my breath, I'm reveling emotions. I need some space to think this through. Call me on now. What's going on, Avenger Gang? My name is Denzel Pratt, and you're watching another episode of Mandor Explorer. So today, I decided to come and fish strictly for smallmouth bass here at the same river that I fished to do my review for this rod right here. The reason why I'm using this rod again is because I think that the action was like heightened by a lot by using this ultra lightweight rod. So. That's why I'm trying to use it again to see if I can catch a couple of smallmouth bass out of this area, man. I'm gonna be showing you guys a few techniques and methods that I'd use that work for smallmouth bass, but if you guys don't think that it would work, don't use them. If you do think it's gonna work, then you might could use them on your fishing adventures. As you can tell, it's still super hot. I'm sweating up bullets right now, but I'm gonna get straight into this fishing stuff, man, because I'm getting tired of talking. You know what that means? It's adventure time. There's some big smallmouth out here, y'all. I just spooked two of them. So I'm just letting my bait drift down in the current. I'm gonna slowly retrieve it back up and hope to hook onto something, man. Bouncing off the bottom of the river. There you go. There you go. Nice small moat, y'all. He's hooked up in a rock or something like that. What the heck? Oh, there you go. Got him out. Come here, buddy. Nice. Nice. Still got a lot of fight in him. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that small mo, y'all. It's a decent size smallmouth. Almost a pound. Woo! Let's get him out of here. Bye, right, buddy. Don't tell your friends I'm here yet. So I Texas rig this Kytex swim bait. That's what I'm using. I have my hook a little bit exposed because I missed a few fish by just keeping it buried deep. They would hit it and not like fully get hooked, so. Let's see what else we got out here. Ah, uh, I need to switch my swim bait. This one is just balling up. <laughs> There's a big old bass down there, y'all. <laughs> he attacked it, but I didn't. I don't know what happened just now, actually. Yep. Perfect. Let's see. There we go. Yum, baby. Literally, this is the smaller one I saw. This ain't even the same size one that just attacked it. But literally five minutes after I caught that first one, I caught this other smaller one. <laughs> yes, sir. How, bro? Chill out. Look at how much time he's been hooked. All around his lip. That's crazy, right? He just released himself. See you later, buddy. Appreciate you attacking. All right, Adventure Gang, I got a giant on. Oh, oh my gosh. Let me not set the drag too tight.
Oh gosh. Yo, this is a giant. I can't even reel him. Oh, he smashed that zoom bait. I can't even move him, y'all. I think I'll break this rod if I pull any harder. Oh man, this is a giant. <laughs> this has gotta be the biggest small I ever hook up on, y'all. Sorry I didn't get the hookup on camera. I thought I wasn't gonna catch anything else in the same area that I've been at for 20 minutes, so. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. It's probably like a 1.5 or a two pounder. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna I'm I'm get a little weight on this one. I got to. Yes, y'all. This is a huge fish. Get out of the brush. All right, it's free. There you go. Oh my gosh, Adventure Game. Right in the corner of the lip. You ain't going nowhere. Yo! Yo! Look at this small mo bass, y'all. That's the biggest one I ever caught. Let me get a measurement on him. Zero it out. Yeah, buddy. Don't go nowhere yet. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's do that again. I didn't believe it. I'm excited. For me, hit that line. I was like, Jeez. I'm sorry I didn't get the hookup on camera for you guys. Uh, there you go. Giant small mob bass. Looks like a tiger in the back. I don't know what's going on right there with him. Probably rubbed against some rocks when I was pulling him in, but this is a chunk of a river to small mob bass. Oh. I don't want to release him yet. This thing is big, y'all. Alright. This water is warm up in here. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, we on, baby. As soon as it drops, y'all. Nice. It's a nice size one. It ain't that big, but feels pretty decent. It's coming right in. <laughs> as soon as it drops, y'all. Right in this shaded area where the water isn't moving that fast. Oh man. It's a little more decent than I thought actually. <laughs> it's a little more bigger than I thought it was just coming at me. Oh man. Get out of that brush. Oh, this is a nice fish. This is a nice fish, y'all. This is a nice fish. Oh man. No wonder why I came back to the spot. It's really cool little area, y'all. And this light, this ultra lightweight rod makes it feel a lot more better. You just want to work it super slow. You don't want to pressure the fish that much because this could break off any minute now. So I'm trying to work it extremely slow. Get it tired before I actually try to bring them in. I hooked them right in the side of that mouth. Always the best place to hook him, man. So we still got a lot of fight in them. I thought it was smaller because when it initially got hooked, it came directly at me, so that's what made it feel a lot smaller. Nice. 
It's a nice bass, y'all. Yes, sir. All right, I think he's done. I didn't even hook him inside of him. I don't hook him in the in the gills. Look like. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a nice size one, actually. That's a big bass. It's a big little creek bass, at least. I want to get a weight on this one as well. Let's see how much we're working with. Oh, never mind. This is actually my PR, man. The other one that I hooked up on, I thought it was the biggest one I got because it was probably in the current and it's pulling a lot harder. But this is my PR bass right here, y'all. 2.27 pounds. That's crazy. Official weight right there. All right, y'all, I'm gonna let him go. I hooked him in the gills, so he started bleeding a little bit. Let me get some water in his gills and then I'm gonna release him. There you go. Here we go. Yeah. Two minutes after that one. <laughs> Tighten up my drag a little bit. Two minutes after that one, y'all. He's coming at me too, so I don't know how big this fish is. He could be a lot more bigger than he seemed. Nah, he's smaller. He's smaller, but he's still a bass regardless, man. <laughs> nice. They got a lot of fire in them. That's cool, y'all. Yeah. Nice little smallmouth bass, y'all. I almost hooked this one in the eye too. <laughs> you know what? This is the same bass. If you remember that last one, it had, I was like, it got hooked all around the lip. Look at that. I'm pretty sure it's the same bass. How did I fool you twice, buddy? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna let him go, y'all. Spider, no, get out of my bag, boy. Get out of there, get out, get out of there. All right, so I'm gonna Texas rig this hook. What trying to do is go through the hoop like that, bring it around, twist your line around. Make sure you got a good couple little knots in there. Then you're gonna put this back through that initial hoop that you made and pull it tight. There you go. Then with the bait, oh, next bait I'm gonna use. Let's go with some. I got some river bugs in my pocket. Let's go to river bug. With the river bug, you wanna go through the top, push it all the way through, make sure it's sitting in that little groove that you have, and then bury the hook. And that's all I do. All right, then. What? Yo, there's a bass just sitting right here. I scared, I scared the crap out of me. Hey, Mr. Duck. How you doing, man? Check this out, man. Y'all know me. I'm always down to find some new things. <laughs> what is going on with his back? There's a big old snapper right here. I don't know if he's dead or not. Yep, he's not dead. That's a big old snapper, but his back is jacked up. This is the biggest snapping turtle I've found before. <laughs> Got some leeches on his side. Hi, right, buddy. What's going on with your back, man? This is the man that's going to mess you up. I don't know what's your problem right now, buddy. I'm gonna release you back. 
Look like someone smashed his back in with something. There you go. Bye, buddy. So that's what you gotta watch out when you're walking in these creeks and stuff like that. You never know if you're gonna come across a common snapping turtle. That looks like a fully grown turtle. It looks like you've been through a lot with his back and everything. I look like I'm about to go through a lot slipping over these rocks. So my first question of the day is, what allows smallmouth bass and fish like that to withstand currents like this that is so powerful? I'm really getting tired of these mosquitoes, man. I had a mosquito fly in my eye, caught it with my eyelid. Just so you guys know that I was not joking when I said that. The chemical company that um, is in this area dumps into this place. That's the creek right there. And that, y'all. It's a really big company. That's what makes this thing a little bit more <laughs> dangerous than I would hope. So that's why I say all the fish that I catch, I got to release, man. Even if I wanted to eat one of them. And with that being said, my friends. Actually, did y'all see that turtle? <laughs> Tell me if y'all think that's what happened to that turtle, man. <laughs> but anyhow with that being said my friends I'll catch you guys on the next one